Hi, and welcome to another low tech video. Today we're making a Leopold bench, which was a bench made popular by Aldo Leopold here near Madison, Wisconsin. It's essentially two triangles that come together to hold up a seat and a backrest. You can find the plans at lowtechinstitute.org and follow along here with the plans. So the first thing to do is to cut out the backs. The backs have to be the entire width of the chair. So here I'm doing 24 inches, but you can do up to 48 inches. This is cut out of one by eight wood, uh, but you can do a little wider or narrower backrest um, as, as you like. I'm making six chairs, so I have to cut out six backs. And there we go. And now I have to start cutting out the sides. Now I'm cutting out the sides. These are cut at 60 degrees. Again, check out the plans for exact dimensions my circular saw isn't uh, wide enough to cut out this one, uh, this two by eight uh, with one go, so I have to cut it out uh, first on one side and then flip it over and cut it the other way, which makes it kind of awkward to turn this large 10 foot board around. Um, I need an entire 10 foot uh, two by eight to do this uh, just because of the height of the chair um, and the legs. It needs uh, a little bit more than that, the standard eight foot uh, two by eight. So I carefully line it up and cut out the second side. And the nice thing about a 60 degree angle, if you remember uh, back to geometry in high school, it'll make a three-sided equilateral triangle. 60 degrees, 60 degrees, and 60 degrees. Uh, I'll show you that in a minute. One note uh, on the long leg, which also forms part of the back support. I have to cut a notch, I think it's a 12 degree notch, again check the plans, uh, out of the back and we'll see where this is where I attach the backrest. If we didn't cut out this notch, the backrest would be leaned really far back and it would be really uncomfortable uh, to sit on. So at the very top of the backrest we take out just a couple inches to make it a little more comfortable to sit in. And I like to, when I'm doing a mass production, I like to put little stops into place and that way I can measure once and cut a dozen times. Now we move on to assembly. And because again, this is an equilateral triangle, um, I take the smaller, leg and put it underneath and mark where it crossed and then I flip it over and I push it into this little jig I made with a 2x4. I drill in with a quarter inch bit, tap in the quarter inch by th three and a half inch carriage bolts, add the washers and nuts and tighten those down until they bite in. And that's one of the sides and so I just have to do the same thing for the other side. Once the sides are made, I start assembling the chairs. I, I start assembling with the back. And so I put them down on what will be their front face. And I'm using, I'm using seats, the wood I cut for the seats, which are three inches smaller than the width, as spacers. I set these in with a square stop at the back, so everything's nice and lined up and square. And now I grab one of the backs, add some glue. If you're gonna be doing this for outside use, use tight three so that it's waterproof. Line this up really nicely, add two pilot holes, and put in a two inch screw. If I were gonna do this again, I would spread the screws out a little wider because that'll give it more lateral stability, but with the glue, it's not gonna make a big difference. Now I line it up on the other side, make sure everything on the chair is nice and square. And I had to do a pilot hole and then adjustment to make sure it was square and then a second. And now the chair is more or less stable, will hold itself together uh, before I add the seat, which is what I'm doing here. This is, I'm adding a little glue into the corner and now I tap the seat down into place. 
and I look in the back to make sure it's all lined up. As long as it's even, it doesn't really matter exactly where it is, as long as it's even on both sides and square. And to help keep that squareness and pull it together nice and tight, I'm using a, th a three foot clamp. Now I'm gonna drill three pilot holes before putting in my three and a half inch screws. And this will help hold the seat down, but it will also hold it in that 90 degree notch, which will help hold the chair nice and square and solid together. And then here go the three screws. Space them nice and evenly. Don't get too close to the front, uh, because remember that angle, as you can see there, if you get too close to the front, you might pop the screw out of the angle, so give it a couple inches from the, from the front angle of that support leg. Now I release them, and I have my chair. This is supposed to be rustic, so I'm not spending a lot of time smoothing it, but I do want to take off the rough edges from sawing. Uh, I also want to camphor the edges, uh, which means just give them a 45 degree angle just on the edge. Just makes it feel a little nicer. I just, again, they're supposed to be rustic, so I just want to make sure that it's not going to catch anyone's clothing or fingers or anything like that. You can use sandpaper. I'm using a microplane. And then I'm going to add a coat of linseed oil. You can make these out of cedar if you're going to use them outside. You can even make them out of treated lumber, but I really avoid treated lumber if I possibly can. So I'm adding a coat of uh, boiled linseed oil, which is not edible, although linseed oil is, but lin boiled linseed oil is not edible, but it's not nearly as toxic uh, as anything else uh, that we can use to coat these like sealant or stain. But you certainly can do those if you want uh, a different color uh, or, a, or a potentially longer lasting finish. These are gonna be out on our porch under cover so they won't get rained on so I don't need to go into too much more preservation. You can forget, again, you can find these plans on our website, lowtechinstitute.org. These plans are free. Uh, if you make something with them, please take a picture and send it to us. We'll feature it on our website. If you have any feedback for our, our instructions as well, please do let me know. Thanks for watching the video today. Check out our website, lowtechinstitute.org and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks a lot for watching.